Hello guys! In this video I'll be teaching you how you can fold a new model designed by me and it's called the Rising Sun. And as you can see there is a sun uh, and the sun rays and there is Mount Fuji in the middle. And basically um, this model represents Japan which is uh, land of the rising sun and uh, Mount Fuji is the sacred mountain in Japan. It's actually a volcano. Uh, but yeah, so this model was designed for origami designing tournament on origami forum and the topic was color change so I decided to do something like this. Okay, so uh, this is how the model is going to look like. So there is another fold here. Um, and yeah, so let's talk about the paper. Uh, you can use paper that is, uh, I don't know, 20 by 20 centimeters. I managed to do it from that kind of paper as you can see here um, but for the first try I would recommend 35 by 35 although you can use smaller paper but I'll be using 35 because it's going to be easier uh, to show you all the folds and uh, yeah so I guess we should um, we should just start uh, folding so first of all uh, the question is uh, as you can see we have it's a double uh, double colored paper and uh, you can have yellow sun rays or you can have red sun rays um, it's your choice um, if you want to have yellow sun rays you should start with the yellow side up and if you want to have red sun rays um, you should start with um, red side up so I would like to have um, red sun rays or no, I'll, I would like to have yellow sun rays so I'll start with the yellow side up so the first step is to fold 4x4 four four grid, which I'm pretty sure all of you guys know how to do that. So you just pull the paper in half like this. And then divide each section into two equal parts as well. So just fold uh, the bottom side to the crease you just made. And you see this on this side. Okay, like this, and now rotate the paper for 90 degrees, like this, and do the same thing. So fold the paper in half and divide each section into two equal parts as well. like this okay now turn around the paper and do the blends base and blends base is basically all you have to do is bring all four corners to the center of your paper so here is the first corner second one third one and the fourth and the fourth one okay so now you have to unfold everything you can start collapsing from this point but we will add a few more creases because it's going to be a lot easier to collapse so turn around the paper again, so now you're on the yellow side and I'll bring this corner to this point like this now unfold that and then bring this corner to this point over here So. I'll just rotate the paper because it's easier. Okay, like that. When you do that, rotate the paper like this and repeat what you did before. What you have done before. Okay, and one more time. Okay. 
Okay, so all we have to do is uh, fold the diagonals and that's it. Because we didn't do that at the beginning. So the first one, and here is the second one. Okay, so now we'll start um, collapsing. Okay, so this might be a bit tricky, but just follow along. Fold along this line, like this, and now you're going to make a valley fold along this line and the mountain fold along this line. So here is the mountain fold and then just kind of fold this to the right side and that's it. Like that. Okay? So now fold this like that and do the same thing on the right side. So make a mountain fold and then fold along this line, like this. Okay, now do a water bomb base using these creases. So like this. And now fold this corner to this point. Like that. So now we're going to rotate the paper and repeat the same thing. So mount the fold along this line and you just fold this up like that. Now do the same thing here. So mount to fold along this line and then the valley fold here. And now the water base the water bomb base. Okay, and now fold this corner to this point. Okay, so now it's going to be a bit tricky, so we'll do two of them in the same time. So first of all, do the mountain fold, and then fold this up like that. And now we're going to do the same thing here. You're going to... Let's look from this side. Make a mountain fold along this line, and then do that. Looks kind of weird. Something like this. And I'll do the reverse fold along this line. So here's the reverse fold. And now do the water bomb base here. So like that. Don't forget to fold the corner to the center. So this is center now. We got the square again. And now do the water bomb base over here. But this time, um, fold to the center, bring the corner to the center, but uh, you will unfold it now. Okay? And now let's start uh, making sun rays. So the way you do that is, first you have to fold this edge uh, to this symmetry line, like that. Okay, now fold this edge to the crease you've just made. So, the angle of the first line was 22.5 degrees and the angle of the second one is 11.25. Okay, so once you've done that, fold this edge to this corner. Well, just basically repeat the same thing on the left side. Like that. And the same thing here. Okay, now repeat that process on remaining four flaps. So let's do it here. Okay, I'll do it on the right side and then I will rotate the paper for 180 degrees like that and do it here as well.
Be very precise. Okay. And <laughs> so it looks kind of weird, but yeah, so now we'll start collapsing. Fold these two flaps down like this. Then fold this first flap to the right. So th this might be a bit tricky. So you need to take you need to hold this layer like this and pull it up. And as you can see we have um, some creases over here and this crease is mountain fold and this crease is valley fold. What you want to do is switch this valley fold to mountain fold. So take your finger and just push from behind and do the mountain fold along this line. Okay, like that. Be very precise. From above it looks like this okay but as you can see the you need to take this layer and then pull it out like this okay so once you have this you just collapse like that and then fold it to the left again okay so hopefully that wasn't too hard let's do it on the right side so fold this flap to the left take this layer pull it up and now convert this valley fold into mountain fold okay let's do it from above might be easier so as you can see we have a valley fold over here and we need another valley fold over here just push here and now fold this edge um, to that crease be very precise we want this fold to end exactly at this point like this and now just collapse and you end up with something like that. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to take these two flaps and then fold them up. Um, not to the center line, but... You, well, here is the symmetry line. Okay, so... What's important is that the distance from this point to this point is smaller than is bigger than the diff, uh, the distance from this point to this point. So just do this crease wherever you want. I'll do it right over here. Now make sure to do the same thing on this side so you can kind of fold this like that and then use this as a reference for your new crease. Okay, something like that. Okay, like that. That's pretty good. Okay, now we're going to zoom a little bit. And uh, I'm going to rotate the paper for 90 degrees to the right. Take this flap and fold this flap to the right. And then take this flap and fold it to the right as well. And now we're going to do... Oh, and this flap down. So now we're going to do very similar thing, actually exactly the same as we did before. So take this, pull it up, and now instead of having a mountain fold here, you want to have a valley fold. So zip like that, and then do another valley fold. Okay, like. Like that. Okay. So just collapse. Okay, but as you can see, if you fold this down, you're going to make a new crease. And you don't want to make new creases, you you just want to have this crease over here. So just fold along with that crease. And as you can see, um, this will kind of shift. Okay. So now what you want to do here is bring this flap up 
and then make a mountain fold along this line and mountain fold along this line. So like that, like that, and now fold this down, and that's it. And I just fold this up. Okay, and let's repeat the same thing on the right side. So I'll be folding those flaps to the left and then folding those two flaps to the left as well. So now you have to pull this layer up, make a mountain fold along this line or the valley fold if you're looking from above and collapse it like this. And you don't want to create any new creases you just want to use the creases you already have so make a valley fold here and then crease yet take this flap, fold it up make a mountain fold here like this and then just fold this down and all you have to do is fold this layer and we are done with sun rays as you can see I guess those look like sun rays okay so now we have to do the sun and the mountain so let's start doing that so the first step is to make a mountain fold along this line well you just put your finger here and just fold it to the right like this and now fold this edge to this line I guess well it's edge as well but still Hold like that and uh, do this. Do this kind of squash fold like that. See? Zip. Okay, and now as you can see, we have this extra flap. So let me just zoom in. You have to do a swivel fold. So fold this edge uh, to this crease. Symmetry crease, symmetry line. Okay, and I'll do the swivel fold. So first I'll do just a reverse fold. Like that. And now fold this up as you would do on crane. Now what's important is that when you look from behind that uh, this edge lies in this crease and then make a crease when that is satisfied okay so just make a crease there and unfold so now to do the same thing on the left so this is what we're going to do first of all we'll fold this on to the right do that now do this and then basically repeat the same sequence of folds like that it looks kinda like a heart okay and do the swivel fold so first reverse fold and then the swivel fold so here is a reverse fold and the swivel fold is on its way so I'll turn around to make sure and this edge lies on the line and it does okay so now this is what you're going to do you're going to do the swivel fold here as well and now fold this up like this okay so once you've done that, rotate the paper for 180 degrees and then fold this down and we're going to do another swivel fold. Use this line here as a reference for your new crease. Like that and like that and we'll do the swivel fold here. Oh, it's more like a squash fold but still. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, so now let's do some crazy folds. Um, okay, so this is what you have to do. Put your finger here and now push with your index finger like that. Okay, and now do the multifold here and do the multifold here. So all I've done, I've just wrapped that layer around uh, to get desired color change and we'll do the same thing here. Put your finger here and now push this way. Now be very careful because paper can rip very easily. So the, oh, there's a little rip, but okay. It worked. Okay, and that's it. Now, once you've done that, make sure that this flap is released. As you can see, I can fold out. Now, what can happen is... This can happen, let me just show you. Now, this can happen as well. To do everything correctly and this flap is not released. So pretty much all you have to do is hold this layer and then just pull like this and that will release the flap. So let's repeat the same thing here. So put your finger here and then push from behind like this and then do the same thing here. Be very careful. Ah, there. Paper ripped. Damn it. Anyways, imagine that it didn't. So, just pull this behind in that case. Okay, I wasn't very careful. Okay, so... Yep, it's released. Okay, so now all you have to do is fold the slabs down like this, and now fold edges um, to this crease in order to create 11.25 degree lines. So like this and fold this up again okay and now uh, uh, now do the rapid ears like this unfold and now we have to fold this up and uh, This 4x4 four four grid, if I'm not mistaken, which is... which is where? Mm, anyways, if I remember correctly, this crease um, needs to touch this yellow sun ray. Hopefully that's correct. If it's not, we'll adjust the proportions, but... Okay, like this. Okay, then just fold. Okay, so now do the rabbit ears again. Like that, and now we're going to. Um, but before doing that, sorry. Before doing that, we need to fold uh, this down. Now, how much? Well, if you do a rabbit ear. And create this extra fold and basically fold along that line. Use that as a reference. You see, there's this 22.5 line, and just pull down. So now I fold this up, and now you do the rabbit ears. Now, this, this can be tricky, so take your time. So, you do the rabbit ears, and in the same time, you're shaping, you're shaping the shaping the sun. Okay, so make sure that this yellow corner is uh, is aligned. Well, it, um, it's in this line over here. That's very important. That's basically the reference when to stop. So, let's do it again. As you can see, if I finish the crease over here, it's not on that line. It's a bit off. So, I need to make sure that it's exactly on that line. 
Okay, so now it's exactly on that line. Like that, and now I just fold this up. Like that. And... And yeah. So, fold this up. And then just fold this corner down a little bit. This is a mountain. So, fold it like this. That will represent the snow. And I'll take this edge and just fold it up to here. Well, maybe I can fold this a bit more up. This. Okay, that's better. So, let's zoom out. Um, what you can do as well is tuck this slap right here. This is what I've done in my previous folds. If you don't want to have sun, um, all you have to do is uh, just make a mountain fold along this crease and then just... Uh, oh, actually, no. If you don't want to have sun, you just make a valley fold from behind like that and... I mean, if you don't want to have a mountain, but I want to have a mountain, so I'll just leave it this way. So I'll just fold it like that. But if you don't want to have it, you can just tuck this layer inside, and this will also kind of hold the paper. But yeah, I prefer it this way. So as you can see, the model is almost done, and all that's left is to fold these layers, um, just to hide these extra layers. So let's start here. So make a mountain fold. And we're not just folding them behind, we're actually putting them inside this this pocket. So just find the last pocket which is over here and then tuck it there. So let's do that on this side. So first do the mountain fold like this and now find that pocket like that and do the same thing here, find the last pocket and then do the mountain folds. So, one more. This will also kind of lock the model. Okay, and the model is completed as you can see. Um, it's a rising sun. Although, now it looks kind of like um, a flag of Macedonia, but still. it's. A rising sun, and uh, that's pretty much it. You're done with the model. So, yeah, if you like this video, please like it, subscribe to my channel, and like my Facebook page. You can find the links in the video description. And uh, if you're interested in how the crisp pattern looks like, I'll be posting the crisp pattern. I mean, the link to the crisp pattern in the video description as well. And I'll be also making a diagram for this model. So when I make the diagram, I'll also post post the link in the video description. Um, to the link that will lead you to a download page and uh, yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one so have a great day and bye